Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Mason-Dixon Line in the U.S., the boundary between Maryland and Pennsylvania, taken as the northern limit of the slave-owning states before the abolition of slavery, it is named after Charles Mason (1730–87) and Jeremiah Dixon (1733–77), English astronomers who defined most of the boundary between Pennsylvania and. Take our lead. Several theories on where it came from historians disagree about its origins. Some believe Dixie derives from the Mason-Dixon line, between Maryland and Pennsylvania. The line was drawn in 1767 to resolve a border dispute between the colonies but later became the informal border separating the South and North. Take our lead. New Confederate States of America. As a definite geographic location within the United States, Dixie, is usually defined as the 11 southern states that seceded in late 1860 and early 1861 to form the new Confederate States of America. Maryland never seceded from the Union, but many of its citizens favored the Confederacy. Make your mark! Take our lead! The Mason-Dixon line is the most traditional border between North and South, and to some extent the line made sense in its time. The line endures today and the U.S. Census still lists Maryland and D.C. as part of the South. In fact, the Census even calls Delaware Southern, which seems a bit misguided. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark! The term Mason and Dixon line was first used in congressional debates leading to the Missouri Compromise 1820. Today the Mason-Dixon line still serves figuratively as the political and social dividing line between the North and the South, although it does not extend west of the Ohio River. Thank you for watching! Please subscribe and hit the bell notification!